Okay, this one, if we look through our same techniques, first thing, change everything into sines and cosines. Okay, the only thing we can really do is we can change this one into a one over cosine, but that's not really gonna help us do much more with this problem. Uh, next thing, use factoring to simplify. Nothing here to factor. Third strategy, get common denominators. So again, whenever you see fractions, you should always be thinking right away, I need to get common denominators, because again, almost always for these problems in this section, common denominators will be a way that you can simplify and get the answer. So now that we have this, we're gonna combine together into a single fraction by getting both these denominators to be the same. The common denominator will be cosine times one plus x. So I wanna get both the denominators to be that common denominator, cosine one plus x. So this one, this first one, it already has the, the one plus sine x, but I wanna multiply that by cosine over cosine because that's what it's missing. So I'll do that one here. Uh, the next one, I have the cosine x on the bottom, but I'm missing the one plus sine x. So I'm gonna multiply that top and bottom, one plus sine x. Yeah, I'm doing that to get common denominators, multiplying by what's missing. And over here, that's two, and then secant is the same thing as one over cosine. I'm just using this identity right here. So I wanna do that, because again, I wanna make sure everything's all in terms of sines and cosines to get both sides to be equal to each other. I've already created the, uh, the common denominator, so now I'm gonna rewrite it as one single fraction. On the bottom, cosine x, one plus sine x. On the top, I'll multiply these together, cosine squared x. And then on this one, I'm gonna, I have to do a, a FOIL step on this. So I need to do one times one is one. And then I have a sine x and a sine x, that's plus two sine x. And then I have the last ones, that's gonna be the sine squared x. And then when I multiply these together, since that's two over one, I can write that as two over uh, cosine x. So now I've completed that by getting it to be a common denominator. What's next is I wanna see if I can do any kind of simplifying or canceling. So I can't cancel anything out just yet because this is being multiplied and I have addition up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging. So I'm gonna rearrange and put the square terms together. And I have the one and then I have the one plus two sine x. I'll just put those on the end. So just doing a little rearranging here on that. And I have cosine x, one plus sine x down here. And then that's two over cosine x I have there. Notice right here, this is gonna be one of my identities. I have sine squared plus cosine squared. It might have been hard to see over here. That's why I wanted to rearrange it and put those together. You now see that you have that identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. So this whole thing right here, a one is gonna go in for this part right there. So I have a one from this part but I have another one after it, and then I have a two sine x. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine these two like terms together. All this got changed into a one, and then one plus one is gonna give you two. So now we have two plus two sine x over cosine x, one plus sine x. What I wanna do next is I want to factor out the top because I have a common factor now, a two I can pull out. So I have two and I have one plus sine x, and in the bottom I have cosine x, and then one plus sine x. What's gonna happen is these two are gonna cancel, so I get both those to cancel on top, and what I'm left with is I'm left with the right-hand side. I get two over cosine x, so now I've shown that one side equals the other. So again, this right here, this is really important that allowed us to actually finish the problem by understanding there's an identity in there. At this stage, there was nothing more we could have done, so that's why you wanna, again, start looking at your identities to see what you can actually put in. So that was a whole thing was a one. This one plus that one gives you the two. Factor out the two, and then since it's factored, we are allowed to cancel those uh, to get two over cosine x.